welcome everyone to a yet another topic on J unit now in this one we are going to talk about what exactly is in J unit uh, tool all about and how we can do various kind of test implementations with the help of J unit now in this one specifically we are going to talk about like J unit in Java now let's talk about what exactly is the J unit tool all about like what are the different things we can implement with the help of this tool here so J unit is basically a kind of unit testing framework which is there for the Java so it's kind of a default offering for the Java programming language that we can use the J unit for the unit testing framework for performing the unit testing now the main benefit of uh, the J unit is like it's using the same syntax like a Java programming language so it makes it very easy for a Java developer to write and execute the test cases so most of the times when the developers are going to work on the Java programming languages so they prefer that J unit as a uh, default unit testing framework for them because because they get the language advantage they get the easily integrations on the Eclipse so those benefits helps the developers to decide J unit specifically for writing the test cases and running the test cases there now whenever these test cases are actually being executed whenever you add up a new piece of source code so uh, all the unit test cases will be executed will be again executed there every time when you run a new build so all the unit test cases gets executed but you also need to take care that if you are adding up a new functionalities you also have to add the corresponding test cases to that so increasing more and more code will uh, will be done by the developers but at the same time you have to sync or you have to keep your test cases up to date also and as a part of every build each and every test cases will be re-executed every time you're doing the build five times six times a day every time the uh, all unit test cases will be executed over there and the response will be given back right now let's talk about what exactly is a unit testing now unit testing refers to the testing of the small small modules or the small piece of chunks or the codes here now it's basically used to have the early identification of the defects and the bugs because you cannot simply rely on the uh, QA team to perform the testing and then provide the feedback whereas on the uh, with the help of this unit testing framework we can immediately get the uh, feedback right away once we are running the test cases we immediately we will be able to know like these are the different test cases which we have got over here now the developers uh, don't even have to spend uh, more time on fixing the bugs and issues because these test cases will help them with the easy and the fast feedback so according to that they can fix the bugs and they can uh, take the decision whether the source code is working fine as expected or there is any kind of issues as such present with this one so unit test casing is something which is very important from the developers perspective also because it helps the developers to understand that they whether they have written a successful code or if there is any kind of scope of issues or bugs over here also it uh, the successful unit test cases uh, increases the overall confidence of the developers because it uh, increases the overall uh, performance and the quality of the product also so by having the uh, successful executions of the unit test cases developers can understand that yes the source code is working fine as expected and there is no scope of bugs or any issues as such with this source code here so that's the main benefit which we get with unit testing that with this fast feedback channel we will be able to take uh, the decisions whether the source code is ready for the production environment deployment or not so that's a main benefit which we get with the unit testing here now of course this can be done in two ways manual testing and automated testing now in case of manual testing you have to do this thing manually within a manual tester or a manual testing approach and in this one you will not be depending on any kind of uh, automated tool which can be scheduled or which can be executed in non interactive manner on the other hand automated test case is something which uh, is used to be executed using the uh, tool and uh, it is something which is being done so that you will be able to get the complete automation there is no manual efforts which is required as such you are going to have like complete uh, deployment and automations being done as such in this case so automated testing is something in which you will be giving more focus on the automated automation tools you may be having one or a couple of tools which using which you can write the automated test cases and you can perform the complete automation in case of manual testing it's quite uh, you know less reliable because you are dependent on the uh, a particular uh, tester 
which can ha perform the testing uh, according to his efforts and it's quite uh, time consuming also because you can only run the test cases for probably eight to nine hours per a day whereas on the other hand the automated test case is something which is re quite reliable because it does not depends on a human so, uh, so requirement so it can be done like 24 cross 7 so anytime you can run those uh, test cases and that's the reason why these test cases are quite faster as compared to any other manual testing approach here so j unit test cases and the automated test cases really helps the developers and the qa professionals to test the source code much faster as compared to the manual testing j unit testing in the java like how we can pretty much configure the test cases in j unit for a programming language called java and how we can get along or get execute those things so now we are going to see like how exactly we can you know go for the um, execution of some java files onto a command line and how we can uh, using the command line run some execution of the test cases typically we do it from the eclipse but uh, from the command line also we are going to see like how exactly uh, you know we are performing the setup and the executions over here now what we really need to do is like we need to see like how we can proceed further with the execution so i'm going to open this uh, particular java file over here so to get a better understanding here so i'm going to use the uh, org.unit j unit uh, class over here in this case so we are having like couple of imports these are the standard imports so you can do like org.unit uh, j unit dot star also if you don't want to go for the specific imports here now here we are going to create a test unit as an uh, sample class and in this one we got the uh, uh, wide main over here which is the main portion of uh, any kind of class here the only thing which we got over here is that we have created a test uh, method over here called test print uh, message so we are assigning a value called message uh, a variable over here as in simply learn now what happens like uh, we will be able to uh, like you know do the assert equals over here that uh, if the value of message is like simply learn so it will be able to help us with the proper output and uh, there will be no uh, errors as such over here so everything will be smooth and that's what we are trying to execute over here in this case and uh, we are running into the null void that these are the test cases we want to run or we want to execute over here now all we need to do is like, we need to compile this one we uh, really need to compile this case, uh, test cases over here this file and then we have to run that one so for that let me open the command prompt so now in this case we will be using the java c command prompt here and we will be copying the j unit into the uh, class path so that we, uh, we will not be able to get any kind of uh, class not found issues over here so test unit j unit dot java we are going to run so if there is no uh, exceptions as such we will be able to get no errors here now i'm going to run the uh, particular class file with the help of java command because java c is to convert the dot java file to the dot class file the compile format and then in order to run the dot class file we have to go for the java command line here now this means that uh, there is no issues as such with the test cases and everything is working fine as expected over here in this one so the assert equals is going to help you to identify that if the execution is proper and let's say like if we put up some content like some different content over here in this assert equals so i'm going to again execute this one so that uh, i will be able to see like if you know what will happen that if this message value and this value does not matches like in normal situations it will say like okay uh, the uh, particular uh, you know output is going up and uh, there is no errors as such right so let's see like what exactly uh, it will happen that if we go for the executions like if we save this file in such a way that we are providing some wrong inputs and what will happen to our assert equal over here so i'm going to again compile the file here so again a new class file will be available and uh, this time i'm going to execute this class file again over here in this case and the moment you did it the assert will give you the uh, comparison over here saying that there is a failure of the comparison why there is a failure of the comparison because according to the code base it was expecting the value called simply learn but it simply got the value called simply learn one two which means that your test cases over here got failed down so this is the real uh, way that how you will be providing the comparison 
like what you should be putting up to the application and what kind of response you should be getting in 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 return of that so that's where you will be able to provide a proper and a complete comparison here which will help you to understand that what exactly output you're going to get over here and that's where the output will be uh, completely uh, available to you and you will be able to get a proper output as such here right so this is the way that how the comparison will be performed and how you will be able to see like these two comparison being done here as such so this is the way that how you're going to run the test cases in the form of the uh, from the command line here so that's it for this topic thanks everyone Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.